Why aren't you having the success that you want in your business? We're gonna be talking about the four biggest mistakes that I see network marketers make in their business, whether they've been here for a long time or whether they've just getting started. And definitely make sure you stay to number four because it truly is the key to success in all things in life. Now, number one, the first mistake that I see people make is one of two things. Either they're diving into all of this training and then they're not taking action or they're actually not diving into the training and they're just going head first into their network marketing business. Both of them are going to set you up for failure. And here is why. If you are too busy learning and you're not implementing, learning at its core is not an income producing activity. So you've got to make sure that you're spending some time learning and then you're taking the skills that you're learning and you're going and you're working and you're implementing it in your social media business. But then the flip side is, is I see people, they're like, you know what? I'm just going to go. I'm going to fire. I'm not going to aim. I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm going to see if I can be successful. And then they get very frustrated that they're not having success. And so when I first first got started in this network marketing space, guys, I was a school counselor. I was a licensed professional counselor. I had never sold or done any type of sales or marketing before in my entire life. But I knew that if I wanted to have success, that I needed to dive into the skills that were very much lacking because let's be honest, they never teach us this thing, especially in education, right? I didn't learn how to market. I didn't learn how to sell anything. And so I knew that if I wanted to have success, that I needed to dive into the trainings that were available like this that I have over on my YouTube channel. So definitely make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my trainings, but also the trainings that my company was doing. And I found other top gurus in the industry that were giving away so much value but the key was is I was learning and implementing at the same time right so it's learning implementing learning implementing learning implementing and that's how I've been able to have so much success because so many times I see people either on my team or people that I've coached and what they do is they're like oh my god Julie I've done all of the trainings I've done everything and I'm not having success and then I go and I look at their social media page and I was like, I don't see anything. Well, they're too busy learning and they're not doing the implementation. And so when you're getting started in network marketing or whether you've been in the industry before, it is so important to dive into the training and not just social media training like you're seeing over here, but the mindset training is equally as important. So what I would say is divide your training up between implementation, social media marketing, and sales, and then 50% of the time, make sure that you're pouring into your mental state, your mental health, because those two things are so important in order to be successful in the network marketing space. Now, what I have for you in the description of this video is personally how I've used YouTube, like you're seeing over here, to grow my business to the top. So in the description of this video, I've got a free masterclass that I have for you on all things YouTube marketing so that you know how to build a business on YouTube. So again, you're gonna learn from me, then you're gonna go and you're going to implement, okay? Number two is that they're so busy just focused on recruiting, 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 that they're not actually spending time be getting customers and acquiring customers. And that's not a good method either. And here's why. Because if to have a strong business model in network marketing, you need to have a customer base and you need to have the team building side. Now the team building side is where we have the more reoccurring income, but you also need to make sure that you are producing customers in your business, right? You have a product or a service to sell, make sure you have somebody to sell it to. And what they're too busy doing is they're too busy trying to build a team, build a team, build a team, build a team. They're not building customers. And what we know and what I have personally found is some of my best team builders are actually people that have started on the product as a customer, have loved it, and then have decided to jump all in on the business side of things, right? So your first action should be to try to get as many customers as possible, get them into your sphere once they love your product or your service that you're offering, when they go to reorder, when they go to you know refer somebody, 
ask them if they're open to the business model. Stop making it about building a team, a team, a team, a team, because you do need to have customers. Third reason that people are not having success is because they're ignoring the relationships. This is a relationship building business. And what I have for you over here before I dive into number three is I have for you how I've recruited lots of people in my business. It's called recruiting potential, how to unleash your recruiting potential. I'm going to link for you over here that video for you to check out so that you can get really good at diving into recruiting. However, I will say that the number one thing that you need to do when you are trying to build a network marketing business is you need to remember this phrase, be more interested than interesting. That means that you are a professional relationship builder when you're in this network marketing space. And so you want to build relationships with people. You want to connect with people. People want to buy from people that they like, know, and trust. And people want to build a business with people that they like, know, and trust. And so if you can be more interested in people versus interesting, you are going to have far more success in this industry. And in fact, it's one of the reasons why some people you'll see, they, they start their network marketing business and they hit the ground running and they have massive success. They've never done it before. And then there's others that haven't had success and it takes that time to build that like, know, and trust factor. The difference is, is that they had the relationships. They had a very strong, warm market because they had the relationship building skills that they had been able to implement into their network marketing business, right? Right away. So definitely, if that's not you, if you don't have a large, warm market, if you don't have those relationships with people, that's okay, but know that it's going to take time in order to be successful in network marketing and you need to make sure that you're being more interested than interesting. So then the final tip, and this is where all of the money is. Like I said, if you're getting value, make sure you subscribe to this video so you don't miss out on any of my trainings. But the last thing that I see network marketers make is a lack of consistency. I like to describe it as in going to the gym. If you go to the gym and you start going every day, you know, five days a week, six days a week, you get into this rhythm, you get into this groove, and it's easy to keep going to the gym. Something happens and you go on vacation or life happens and you stop going to the gym for a few days. It's really hard to start back up. How many times can you start and restart your network marketing business, right? A ball in motion stays in motion, but when we take our foot off the gas in the network marketing business, then we have to constantly keep pushing ourselves to get back into it. And the biggest mistake that I see network marketers make is they're not consistent right? They'll show up for a few days. They say that they want to have success. And then two weeks later, they go missing and they're not showing up on their social media. They're not growing their business. They've allowed life to happen. And so if you want to be successful in network marketing, you have to be consistent to a fault and you have to be persistent, right? This is not a get rich quick. It's get the lifestyle that you want eventually. And so I want you to know that the reason that I've had so so much success is because I have been consistent to a fault. And if you want to have massive success in your business, you've got to make sure that you are consistently building the like, know, and trust factor, and you're building your audience, especially if you're building over on social media. So I hope that these four tips were helpful. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you never miss out on another episode of Julie Reynolds TV.